Thanks for joining us for this KRQE.com webcast. I'm Alex Goldsmith. The manhunt is over. APD officers took a second escaped inmate back into custody this afternoon. Lionel Claw was arrested near Montgomery and Morris around 1.30. He was hiding inside a woman's apartment. She told police she was away for a couple nights, came home and realized someone was inside. Officers figured out it was Claw and a SWAT team was called in. He came out peacefully about an hour later. At state police headquarters, he told reporters that he had fun while he was on the run. Yesterday, police tracked down fellow escapee convicted killer Joseph Cruz near UNM. The duo got away sometime Wednesday night while being transported from Santa Fe to a prison in Las Cruces. Investigators have been hard at work trying to capture the two, and APD says it's a relief to have them off the streets. He's an escapee. I mean, that's about the number one threat you can get. I mean, these guys are, you know, they're on the run and they're unpredictable. Thank God that this guy just stepped out and gave and surrendered to us. Investigators say anyone who helped the men during their time on the run will be prosecuted. Police say they caught a car burglar after that car's owner stepped in. According to a criminal complaint, Aiden Cole was standing near a car in southeast Albuquerque while an accomplice rummaged through it. The car's owner confronted Cole with a friend at his side. They were able to grab a metal bar away from Cole that they say Cole swung at them. Police arrested Cole for burglary and assault. He appeared in court this morning. Given that he has pending cases and this being uh, a violent felony, we are going to recommend a bond of 15000 cash or surety. Police say Cole's accomplice, described as a short, bald Hispanic man in his 20s, got away with about $25. An assistant football coach at UNM has been arrested for driving while under the influence. Head coach Bob Davey confirmed the Thursday arrest of Apollo Wright in a statement. Davey says he will continue to monitor the situation as it unfolds, but called the matter, quote, obviously disappointing. No other details about the arrest were given. This comes after claims that a 19-year-old Lobo football player raped a female student last month and held her against her will. The Albuquerque Fire Department is investigating a fire at a former TGI Fridays on Albuquerque's west side. Firefighters were dispatched to the former restaurant near Coors and Paseo just before noon. AFD says the fire was under control within about eight minutes. Arson investigators still looking into what caused that fire. Federal Aviation Administration investigators are now investigating a plane crash that killed two people. That happened yesterday afternoon near Española. It's unknown where that single engine plane came from or what caused the crash. The victims have not been identified at this time. Well, a bit of a gloomy, windy day here in the Duke City today. Plenty of dust got swept up into the air, making things that much tougher for those suffering from allergies. PM also dealt with a brief power outage south of UNM that affected more than 1,000 customers. They were able to get that fixed, though, this afternoon. Chris Gilson joining us now with a look at the forecast. And is that wind going to stick with us? We're going to see a comeback. It's going to come down for a little bit, but it's going to make a quick return. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Not only do we have the wind, but we also had some showers. Officially at the Sunport, we picked up a trace of rain, of liquid precip at the Sunport. And Taos picking up some snow at the higher elevations across Taos Ski Valley, all thanks to a weak weather system. Tracking across the northern half of the state, you can see it's trying to spark some showers, not a lot, but at least some showers across central and northern New Mexico. Again, the bigger story were those winds. We had a peak wind gust officially at the Sunport of 50 miles per hour. And take a look at some of the other wind gusts over 50 miles per hour in Las Cruces, Deming almost 60 mile per hour wind gusts, 55 today, a peak wind gust in Farmington, lower 50s and Gallup. So fortunately, those winds are going to come down. Still breezy for your Sunday. Then the winds crank right back up as we head into Monday. Still windy to, out there right now. Wind gusts over 30 miles per hour here in the metro, 40 in Rue. So 33 in Las Vegas, so it's not going to be for another few hours before these winds really start to relax. So here's a look at the wind forecast as we head into your Sunday afternoon. This is after lunchtime around 2, 3 o'clock. You can still see it's going to be breezy tomorrow, but not no noticing any of those yellows and reds indicating those stronger wind gusts. So tomorrow we're just looking at the breezes from about 15 to 25 miles per hour, but then the winds crank up once again as we head into the day on Monday, thanks to another storm system that passes to our north. 
that will increase the winds, especially along the spine of the central mountain chain into the eastern plains. We could have those wind gusts around 45 to 50 miles per hour, especially by Monday afternoon when sustained from about 20 to 30 miles per hour. As far as the moisture goes, it's going to be pretty limited as we head into the overnight hours, basically coming to an end as that storm system that I showed you a moment ago passes off to the east. Then as we head into the late in the day on Monday, a bulk of the snow is going to stay farther to the north. So that next storm system is going to crank up the winds once again as we head into the day on Monday, which is a slight chance for an isolated shower across the higher terrain of northern New Mexico by Monday night. Durango, Pagosa Springs and Cortez high temperatures into the 50s to near 60 degrees. You can see those temperatures come back down into the 40s for Tuesday and Wednesday. So some cooler air is going to work back into the state by the middle of the week into the northwest. We're looking at the low to mid 60s for tomorrow. So temperatures a little bit warmer tomorrow compared to today and not nearly as windy, but still breezy with those winds sustained out of the west from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then into the southwest, we're back into the 60s and the 70s. Still breezy tomorrow, winds gusting up to 30 miles per hour. Then those winds return in intensity by Monday. It'll be even stronger as you head back to work or school to begin the upcoming week over to the southeast. We're looking at the upper 70s to near 80 degrees and then those temperatures come back down into the 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday in Roswell and then take a look at Thursday and Friday. We're back into the 60s, so we're going to usher in some cooler air gradually here over the next seven days into the northeast breezy tomorrow. Winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour, sustained from 15 to 25 60s and 70s for tomorrow and seeing that sunshine for Monday and Tuesday and then over to northern mountains. Those showers coming to an end breezy for tomorrow. Temperatures warmer back into the 50s and the 60s and then over to the East Mountains, upper 50s, lower 60s for tomorrow. Still breezy to windy wind gusts around 35 to 40 miles per hour and the winds really crank up for your Monday in Edgewood with highs back into the middle 60s to begin the week and in the metro. We're topping out near 70 degrees. That's almost 10 degrees above average for this time of the year and it will be windy for your Monday and then staying dry as we head into St. Patrick's Day. Of course, tonight, don't forget a spring forward. Also, a good time to check the batteries and the fire alarms. All right. Thank yeah. you very much, Chris. And thank you for watching this KRQE.com webcast. We'll see you back here tonight at 10.